guys my name's rachel and welcome back to my channel it's the start of the school semester so i figured why not do a video on how to start the school semester off strong before we begin make sure to like comment and subscribe if you found this content helpful now let's jump right into it a lot of these tips that i have such as organization are really general however i found that though they are general they are incredibly foundational application of each of these tips will vary from individual to individual so make sure to find out what works best for you if you're able to grasp the foundations of a lot of these practices it'll make the course of the entire semester so much easier and so much more enjoyable. My first and most important tip is definitely to stay organized, whether it's through a planner, using an app, using Google calendars, whatever format you're most comfortable with, make sure that you have a consistent organizational strategy that you can use to better organize all the events, classes, assignments, exams, and even thoughts that you may have during the semester. By finding a way to stay consistently organized throughout the semester, you're setting a strong foundation for a successful semester. The next tip is to gather all of your information. This one really builds off of organization. What you're gonna wanna do, especially for college students, is to go through all of your syllabi, and make sure you're familiar with all of the class policies, procedures, your class times, the location, of your buildings, I have a paper planner that comes with both weekly and monthly printouts. For each of my classes, I'll go through the syllabus and look at the schedule and write down the exam dates for every single one of my classes in a calendar. That way I can clearly see for not only the week, but the month in total, what exams are when, and I can appropriately schedule and space out studying. I also make note of the dates for important assignments, projects, and events. Having not only a weekly, but a monthly overview of all of your events in terms of classes, as well as extracurriculars, really helps to avoid feeling overwhelmed as you exactly know what's coming up and you can appropriately space your activities and your studying according to what's lined up for that week and that month. Next, make sure that you have all your appropriate materials. This takes the form of textbooks, uh, supplies, lab coats, lab gear, anything that you would need for your classes. Do not wait until the last minute, especially if it's gonna be incorporated into your class grade. Make sure to consult upperclassmen or people you may know in case they may have some textbooks lying around that they're willing to either rent or give to you. Get some insight from upperclassmen. Chances are upperclassmen will have already been through the classes, the coursework, the materials, the projects, even having the same professor as you're going to have. And the right and appropriate advice can often save you a lot of headache, trouble, and extra work down the road. It's also great to get to know more people. Being able to get the inside or advice from someone who's already been through a class or has studied for a class or has experience with it will save you some time and trial and error in trying to figure out a study strategy or navigating novel situations. It can save you a lot of headache and honestly make the experience of learning the class and studying much better if you have someone who has already been through it and knows a better way of approaching a course based on their experiences and even what they've learned from their potential failures or mishaps. As they say, a smart person learns from their mistakes but a wise person learns from the mistakes of others. Make sure to introduce yourself, make some new friends, strengthen friendships, and if you're an upperclassman yourself, share the wealth and share the knowledge with others. Getting to know upperclassmen and consulting them for advice also goes into another tip for starting the semester off strong, getting to know your peers. Make sure that you're introducing yourself to people in your class and any other fellow peers, as building your social network is something you should definitely not sleep on as well. When you get to know more people, you'll be able to look into their own perspectives on classes, form study groups, or learn from any advice that they've learned from upperclassmen and other people that they know in terms of classroom success and the best ways to approach a class, as well as advice on extracurriculars, research, or any other activities that you're interested in trying. The start of the semester is often one of the busiest times as everything's coming to you all at once, but make sure that you're not ignoring the fundamentals. Make it a priority to get adequate sleep, rest, have time to exercise, and also ensure that you're eating healthy and staying hydrated. Your body is the vehicle that is carrying you through the semester, so you don't want to neglect it. If you treat your body right and you feel good, chances are your cognitive function and your ability to study will also be much better off than if you neglect any of these pillars of health. Based on a cursory glance of each of your classes, start to develop a study strategy that you can use for the class. This will often have different optimal ways for studying to best retain the material. For example, you're not gonna be studying anatomy the same way that you're gonna be studying for physics. Anatomy, you wanna prioritize finding resources for appropriate visualization. Since anatomy is memorization heavy, you wanna make sure that you have some kind of flashcard system such as Anki for the active recall. However, classes like physics are often based more on concepts. So you wanna prioritize studying in a way that will maximize your understanding of of concepts, which often with math classes takes the form of lots of practice questions. Once you figure out a preliminary strategy of how you're going to approach each class, it's time to develop a rough outline of your typical school week. 
For example, if I know for pathophysiology, I'm gonna be covering two chapters each week. I know that my lectures are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I can set aside Mondays and Wednesdays to read the chapter and go over the lecture PowerPoints before lecture. Establish a sense of consistency as to what assignments, tasks, or resources you're using for each day. If I know I have 30 homework practice problem questions for physics due each week and they're due on Sunday, I can maybe schedule to work on about five questions each day and leave some room for review or if I don't get to these questions. Roughly establishing what assignment reading or lecture or practice problems you're working on consistently on each day of the week for a specific course gives you a sense of consistency that can help you build momentum throughout the semester and make sure that you're staying on track and you're not letting work pile up. Personally, organization has been incredibly helpful. A lot of the times the stress comes from not only having a lot to do, but also not knowing when to do them or how to appropriately schedule them. It provides a little bit of comfort and definitely decreases stress when you have a handhold on when you're doing assignments and on what day, and you generally know what your week looks like. That being said, make sure that you're not staying too rigid to a certain schedule and leave wiggle room and time for relaxation. And make sure to schedule and flexibility in your schedule for all the random things that pop up in life. When you're starting off the semester, make sure to build momentum and start off strong. If you're not completely committed or super organized during the start of the semester, it can lead to a bumpy start, make it much harder to get on track when the semester is midway or starts to really kick in. The best thing you can do is start off strong and keep pulling that momentum in. If you have all your bases covered, such as being organized, knowing exactly when your exams are, knowing the appropriate study strategies that you're gonna use for each class. You can stay a lot more consistent and this will make the semester in general much more manageable and enjoyable. You're more likely to have a lot more energy and gusto at the beginning of the semester. So use that to start off the semester strong so that when you're a little bit tired or burnt out or feeling a little bit lazier at the end of the semester, you do have that leeway from when you hit the first exam, the first assignments with a lot more effort and uh, potentially higher scores. So you do have some of that wiggle room. The start of the semester is a perfect time for you to find out what really works for you and to start sinking into to your schedule and your routine. Make sure that you're not being too rigid as well as going back and looking for points of improvements or adjustments when necessary. And that's a wrap for this video today. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what you guys are interested in seeing next. I truly value you guys' feedback and want to provide content that will add value to your personal and professional journey or even improve or brighten a small part of your day or daily routine. I wish you guys the best of luck in this upcoming school year and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.